My love, you are so beautiful. Nothing in this world can change that. No matter how many people are reflecting themselves upon you, please, please, for the love of God, don't let these people tear you down. They're only reflecting because they're not you. They're trying to throw their trash upon you because you are beautiful. You are gorgeous. You are a very strong woman. You are light. And they don't like your light. They're trying to tear you down. But please, for the love of God, do not let them do that. Your story really hit home for me because I was also in the foster care system. And it's been very tough, you know, dealing with a lot of stuff of the aftermath of being in the foster care system. And I understand that completely. But what these people are saying about you is not true. Please do not listen to these people. These people out here are not worth your time. Just keep your family close, your loved ones, and take some time away from the internet. Give yourself a hiatus, a social media hiatus. It is fine to give yourself a break. Rest, my love. Please don't do anything crazy. You are worth everything, everything in this world. I know that is something I wish I would have loved to hear from my younger self. I was 16 once and I almost offed myself because I was dealing with cyberbullying. I was dealing with sexual harassment and all these crazy things. And you know, I felt so under the pressure and I almost did it. And you know, I feel like it's not worth it. You wanna know why? Because it only brings more pain to people. And not only that, but like, I hear your heart and I love it. I see your light, beautiful. You deserve so much more, so much love, so much enjoyment in the world, happiness, peace. Heal, my love. It is time for you to heal. Don't let none of these people tear you down. I personally went through a very bad depression around that time too. And I remember going to a church and a lady had get, recommended me a book called Every Morning. It's by Donna Fragenstrom. You can even read this while you're grieving because I know how it feels to grieve a, lo a loved one. So I'm gonna read you something from this book, okay? While it may not feel like it today, God promises each of us bright hope for tomorrow. That is God's personal promise to you. No one can tell you how long your grief will last. Yet there is good news. One day your mourning will cease and gladness will step in because that's what you deserve happiness and peace.